Compact waterproof cameras have really transformed the world of marine recording and in this short film we give you some practical tips to help you record the wildlife you find when rock pooling, diving and snorkelling. Hi I'm Matt Slater from Cornwall Wildlife Trust and uh, I've come down onto the coast today to do a bit of rock pooling and to tell you about these brilliant cameras. It's an Olympus TG Tough. So I've been using these little cameras when I'm out on shore search surveys and I find they're really useful for documenting the species you come across. Um, but they're also really good for taking artistic shots. If you like me and you love rock pooling, these cameras give a whole new dimension to it because they allow you to really record what you come across in really amazing detail. I work a lot with volunteers on projects like Shore Search and Sea Search and these, these waterproof small cameras have really transformed uh, the way we work and really helped us get amazing results. You can dunk them in the water, you can put them in a housing, you can take them diving, they're user friendly. A few quick tips with this camera, um, when the ports are open a little orange uh, colour shows on, on the clips. There's two clips on each port and what that means is you're doubly sure that it's properly shut. So before you put it in the water always have a close look and if you see any orange on those ports then it may not be properly shut. Another important thing is after every use when you get back to, back to your house or wherever is give it a, a wash in fresh water before you open any of the ports and then dry it off really well before you open any ports otherwise some moisture could get inside. You've also got um, several different flash functions so what I tend to do is take a photo without the flash and then decide if I'm gonna if I'm happy with the result. Quite often you'll get a crisper image though if you turn flash on and uh, you can use ordinary flash or you can use the LED flash on this system which gives a slightly different look to the photo and what I say with this is just experiment. But if you want to get really technical there's loads of features on here um, way more than I currently use personally. But joining me this morning is a very good friend of Cornwall Wildlife Trust, Tom DeGuer from Hydromotion Media. I spent hours and hours lying in these rock pools filming underwater wildlife and he's going to tell us all about how to get the most out of your TG camera. So here we are in the rock pool testing out our TG Olympus Tough Cam. The real reason that they excel so well in this kind of environment is because we can focus with these right up to the very edge of the weed and the rocks. We can get them under ledges because of their small size. And this thing is waterproof up to 15 meters. So we don't even have to worry about a housing at this point. The other thing that makes these cameras really, really great is that they have preset white balances. We all want good colors when we take film and photography. What you can do is set your camera to a preset you just carry on. You don't have to worry about blown out images with greens and blues because you've already set your camera prior to getting into the rock pool. Okay, we've just found a juvenile shore crab and we're gonna demonstrate the macro capabilities of this incredible camera. I've got the TG set to video mode in microscope mode and we can actually even zoom in. We can't see it that well, but if what we're doing here is we're actually using the optical zoom to get as close as we possibly can. And we can use a half press of the shutter button and that's gonna refine our focus. Sometimes you may have to zoom in and out a little bit. You may have to restart your video and refocus, but these cameras are incredible at doing this kind of thing. And really, this is how we can get these shots of these tiny creatures, which we just can't film with other cameras. Here we can see the real capabilities of the TG model. And we've got this miniature shore crab in super macro. 
Okay, so we're gonna try and take a couple of st still shots here with the flash on, as you can see. And as I was saying, this creature is really, really tiny and he's hidden in the weed, but we can see him. We can actually focus on him. And that's quite incredible. What I like to do is switch back between photo and film. And I'll often take a couple of stills from different angles and then focus on film. It's worth taking a mask when you're down to the pools because sometimes you can't see what's on the screen of your camera. What I like to do is just dunk my head in and take a look to frame the shot and then I can just pull it out after. <laughs> then we're all set to press record and film away. course you don't have to get into the rock pool but it's a really great way to get some fantastic footage and get access to parts of the rock pool and creatures in the rock pool that you may not be able to see just from sticking your hand under the water. I've got some of my best footage by filming in this manner. I'm always careful not to disturb the creatures, abide by the seashore code. Okay, as you can see, we've now put our TG in the Olympus housing. This allows us to take it down to 40 meters. If we're diving, this is a must. We've attached three video lights to this rig, and these are great, not only for photography, but also videography. They provide a constant beam of light, which allows you to search for subjects while reviewing your images in live view. So you can see directly what your photos and videos are going to look like before you take those shots. So I'm about to take the TG out for a little snorkel. We're set to underwater mode. I'm going to go. As you can see, it's not just great for macro photography. With its underwater presettings, it's also great for wide angle underwater shots and video. Here's a few pics and videos that I've taken on my TG camera in the last few years all around the Cornish coast. Hope you enjoy them. Good luck with your underwater photography. Please visit our YouTube channel and follow us for lots more useful videos and to learn about how you can get involved with Cornwall Wildlife Trust's marine conservation work.